うノーマルエンジンで簡単に馬力出るす400後半ぐらいいくっすね今馬力のすごいタイヤがいいんで振り出しがやっぱり引っかかる時があるんでそれをまあ塔をあの振り出す方の外側だけアウトとかに振ってあげればそれは解決するんでちなみにそれって例えば初心者 Hey guys, this is Aaron from Drift Week and Lone Star Drift, and I'm going to spill the beans so we don't clickbait you or anything. Drift Week 7 is going to have Naoki Nakamura doing the headlining thing and everything else. I'll explain all that in a bit, but I just wanted to get you guys into it super fast in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> We're bringing him to Drift Week 7. He's going to be, first of all, I should say, different than the other Drift Weeks. Because on the other drift weeks, well, first of all, he's going to be the, the superstar headliner. But first of all, we've never done that before. So in the past, all the drift weeks were just an event that people came to. And there was awesome drifting. The tracks were all lined up. All this stuff happened. But the drivers were not promised to anyone else in advance.、Um, drivers just happened to come to the event and be a part of it. They weren't like the headlining superstar. So if Adam LZ was there, Chelsea n o f e r Matt Field, or James Dean, or Hurt from Hoon Again, or any of these other people, they were just people at the event, which is very different than what we're doing this time. Because I couldn't pro like, promise to someone that was driving the event that they're going to be able to tandem with this guy or that, you know, that they'll get FaceTime because Adam or someone else is on vacation. They've just joined the event. It's not their responsibility to entertain everyone else on the trip and make sure they're having a good time and tandem with them and like be. On point, if that makes sense. So, for Drift Week 7, I just wanted to flip the script a little bit and do something different. And I have to like one up myself every time. And I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do? And I was talking to Ian from Valino, and they offered to set us up with Nakamura and all this stuff. And, anyways, it all just snowballed and it's this incredible thing. And he's going to be coming over. So, for all the drivers that want to do Drift Week 7, you're going to get to hang out with Nakamura. You're going to get to drive with him. You'll get to take passenger laps with him if you want. You know, and he can teach you things and you can learn from him and you can tan them with him. And like all this is based upon time and how things are going during the day and everything. But he's going to be there for us to like, it's, it sounds weird, but like for us to enjoy and for us to be there with him and for us to learn something and for us to tan them with him and like all these different things. And just for us to like have something to get so excited about for Drift Week 7. Because he's gonna be the theme itself of Drift Week 7. A lot of the other themes were just like the tracks or the adventure itself or this or that. I'm trying to flip the script on all these Drift Weeks and do something crazy and new. And he's gonna give us the ability to get excited for a specific person on Drift Week and for all the drivers to get super excited about it and stuff. So, okay, that's the exciting part of Drift Week 7 for me is the fact that we have never had that opportunity. To go for two weeks and know her, who we're gonna drive with and know how this thing is gonna turn out in advance. No one has ever been able to do that. No matter how big of a super fan of、um, Nakamura you were, you could never do something like this. You could never buy the man's time to go hang out with you. You could never go to Japan and be guaranteed to be on with him, like on track with him. Even if you were a D1 driver, that might not happen. Uh, even if you went to whatever local events he was at at Mehan, you might not get a single lap with the guy. So basically, Drift Week 7, we're guaranteeing track time or seat time or even a passenger ride s with him or whatever we're going to do. You are going to get to do that on Drift Week 7. And it blows my mind that we're getting to do this and that we keep wanting up, like one upping ourselves on each Drift Week. Because each time I do that, I'm like, what am I going to do for Drift Week 8? I don't know. Okay, so next up. This Drift Week, why I'm announcing this before Drift Week 6 even happens is because this is happening February 18th to March 2nd. I've already booked the tracks. I know where we're going. I know what's going on. But because if we're going to have Nakamura or someone like this do a trip like this with us, we have to work around their crazy schedules where he's driving in the Middle East or he's driving in D1 in Japan. He's driving in、uh, Asia somewhere. He's doing all these different crazy things. We're getting him for more time. Then he'll probably be at D1 events or something like that in 2023, which is bonkers that we get to take up that much of his time. And then we just get so much personal contact with these people. It's so freaking cool. So that's that. Now let's talk about the track super fast. We are going to be going to Honda Musselman for two days. We'll be at Adams Car Track for two days. We'll be at、uh, Apple Valley for one day, no, two days. 
We'll be at Willow Springs for one day and we'll be over at Utah Motorsports Complex for two days. Now, the reason that we do this routing is, is we need to do some public days. We need great weather in February and January, which means we need to go to the West Coast. Uh, we need to work all these different things we need to do with beautiful tracks that are cool or iconic or whatever we have to do. We're doing it in this method. Now, we've already repeated some of these tracks before, so the tracks aren't necessarily what's so special about this trip. Obviously, the tracks are great. Obviously, they're special. But the real theme of this track is drifting with Nakamura and being with, you know, D1 Superstar for two weeks, which all this stuff is mind-blowing. Um, and then to try and change things up, the last two days of Drift Week, which will be at Utah Motorsports Complex, I'm hoping will be in the snow. So we'll either be there on the cart track or we'll be there in, if it snows, they're gonna put us on the main road course. So we get to do the whole huge road course, including the Formula D section and stuff in the snow, which all this stuff just gets so crazy. Uh, we're gonna stop off to party in Vegas. We're gonna party in California. We're probably gonna rent the Jesus Mansion from Drift Week 4 again, where we slept like 100 people in one giant uh, Airbnb. It was crazy cool and we partied there and did all kinds of stuff. Uh, I just can't explain how cool all this stuff is. I'm mind blown that we get to do it. And that like, Nakamura would be such a great sport and come do this with us. It's absolutely amazing. So anyways, I'm stupid excited. I cannot wait for you guys to experience this with me. I can't wait to do this myself. I want to bring out the NASCAR or something nuts. I'm so stupid excited for Drift Week 7. We're not even done with Drift Week 6. We haven't even started. I mean, like I've been living Drift Week 6 for months now and Drift Week 7. But anyways, I'm so stupid, stupid excited. If you want to do it, you need to get an application either in the description and contact me, or if you've already done Drift Week, contact me. Um, funny story, Matt Field actually did an application on Drift Week 1, and I got it. I'm like, I can't believe some of these guys are doing applications. They could have just called me, but I think he thought it was funny. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you get with me, do the application. If you have questions, message me on Instagram because I'm not going to get a message on YouTube. I don't even know how to do messages on YouTube. Um, get with me, ask your questions, get stuff sorted quickly. Please don't send me random stuff if you're not serious because I don't have time for it. And I think that's it. This is crazy we get to do this stuff. I'm just like, I'm blown away that we just get to invent things that we want to do.